Hello everybody, welcome back to another video in the world of Scrap Mechanic, as you've probably guessed. And no, there has not been a video for absolutely ages, but probably as soon as you clicked on this video, or maybe even you saw it in the thumbnail, there is a keyboard cam. Now, some quick stuff before we actually get into the video. Um, I was at EGX this weekend and it was absolutely amazing and that's where I got this and you may even notice this is the mic that I've been using for all my YouTube videos and uh, I'm not using it anymore because um, my PC's been having some problems recently and it's been a bit loud so I need to get it. Like it works, it works fine. I think one of the motors has just had a bit of a few issues so I need to get a new CPU fan but it still works and everything's exactly the same temperature it's just a bit loud so I was actually going to upload a video saying um, about how I'm not going to be able to make videos again until I get a new CPU fan but actually after I bought this I just loved I just love the brand and everything to do with it so much that I thought well I have the money because I haven't spent any of my money in absolutely ages I decided to get myself some headphones. I have these now and I'm actually using a headphone mic and this professional studio microphone is actually worse than this more or less brand new headset mic. I'm probably going to be using the headset mic now because as you can tell it's a lot better and just for reference I'm going to go this mic right here. Okay everybody this is the other microphone. I expect it sounds terrible on the recording. Um, yes this is this microphone. And as a test, just so you know, you can probably hear that tapping. And also, if you can hear that humming in the background, let me just wait for the audio to go down. That is my CPU fan. You can see why I'm using another bike. So that is the CPU fan. That's probably not safe and probably not good, but I'm getting one quite soon and I'm dying. There we go. And also, don't worry, you're not going to be stuck with this mic for the whole video. And we're back. Okay, so I'm back to the great microphone, and just for reference, I'll actually show it to you right now. I don't know how well you can hear me or how well you can see it, well, I do know how well you can see it. Look at the quality of this. It's amazing. Look at that top. Oh, it's so nice. That little microphone right there is so much better than my other one. Okay. Headphones back on. Lovely. Okay, with all the real life updates and all that shenanigans, um, to Scrap Mechanic, which is what we're doing in today's video, there has been a lot of changes, um, and it's been so long since I made a video, I've, uh, there's been, uh, I don't know, hours and hours and hours of new progress made, so yeah, I need to explain quite a bit. So on the video where we finished the warehouse, I parked right here. I got back and sorted out everything and with that what I did is I put up these pillars well I did that second I got the rusted metal block and oh there's still a bit of there's still a few remains here I this oh how did that oh right that wasn't connected okay so as I was saying I basically made this whole floor rusted metal blocks because um everyone knows scrap man right do you know Scrap Man? Do you know Scrap Man? If you do not, you must check him out. But after this video, hopefully. Okay, as I was saying, um, the original design um, was from Scrap Man. Uh, what he did was he used extruded metal um, for the whole top of this. And obviously, I probably couldn't afford that much. Oh, music's on. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, so the whole top was extruded metal. I couldn't afford that, so I just did it as rusted metal. Because uh, I thought I'd have Scrap Man set up where you have the craft bar and the whole crafting chain up here. Um, but not too long ago, in that same day actually, well, no, I built it and it was like five or six days, no, I don't know, two or three days, something like that, that I actually had it all up there and I actually saw, um, one of Z1 Gaming's really old videos and his design was like just a little bit of scrap wood up here and I thought the one over here, the design over here was a bit too annoying that I, c I had to go between a limited space between here and up there or like no here and the same on the other side with the car which was really difficult because um, I had like this little stairway here and even with that I, I would just tiny little bump would stop me going through it so I actually took down that design and I think I'm gonna stick with uh, Z1 Gaming's design but the thing is Scrapman design is really good I, it's just I don't think it's for me so there's been a lot of changes I built a whole thing in there and I built a whole massive thing up here that I'm still working on to this right now but back to the subject up here um, off camera I've been gathering an absolute ton of uh, level 2 
concrete. Let me just check. Yeah, concrete block two um, for the upcoming base. And also, where is it? Here. I also need extruded metal for the floor. I need nine stacks of that because that's going to be uh, the floor. And then I have this because I'm going to be working on a massive scouter and it took a lot of component kits. I have no idea how many, but it took quite a bit. So there's our garment boxes. I think I've got one or two new green ones between the other one. The car has much better drillers now and quite a few upgrades. Drill wheels at the back, uh, chests. I'm pretty sure I had that in the previous video. And these little ramps here, because I thought that would be a cool little design. The connections, they're getting quite complicated. But I think as we get further into the game, this will probably be our like material gathering car because it has saw blades and drills and everything. It's it's geared up, you know? And then I'll have another one for like everything else. Warehouses, driving, scouting, fighting, and all that stuff. So yeah, there's been quite a bit done to this car and I have quite a few materials for a new one. Okay, what do I have to explain next? What do I have to explain next? Oh yeah, that's it, the farm. Right, now, um, I, oh yeah, I haven't been in this world for so long because I've just been doing stuff in creative mode. Okay, this is a farming design by, uh, Germanite, yeah, that's the one. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, basically in his design, it's all this stuff. It's not too complicated. In the controller, it's just a uh, few changes. Uh, if you want, I'll just stay on this screen for a few seconds. So if you want to build this, uh, then you can. So here you go. Okay, and now onto the connections. It's quite simple. Um, you have uh, the controller hooked up to uh, the first piston and the second piston. These can be level ones. I'm pretty sure that's what I remember him saying. And then two others here, but I just had them level fives because I've been doing so much upgrading. So it's connected to those. The first two must be one and two like that, but three and four, it can be three and four, four and three. I mean, three and four, then three and four. From that side, it doesn't matter because they're both going to be the same. And then there are the switch that starts the whole thing is connected to that then there's a sensor up here that's level one which is connected to this logic gate then the logic gate is connected to these two things here and these two things are connected to a suction pump over here which is always getting water and if you want to know how this works when you get in game all the switches are automatically turned off so what's what you do you get a switch you connect it to a logic gate you set that on now and you connect that to that so basically when it's off that's always going to be on but if you switch that on that's going to go off and then da 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 you get the point i hope that's good enough for you i really need to slow down with my speaking i I, I think I've got a bit too good at scrap mechanic. Oh, no, I, I wouldn't say that. Um, yeah, so long story short, that's that. I think. Okay, what were we going to do in this video? What what was I going to do in this video? I mean, I just needed to make a video because I haven't made one in so long. Hmm, what to do? Oh, yeah, that's why I started making a video. Okay, let's chuck all of this in there. I messed up. i just put all this here. Okay, I think now we are ready and I just sorted out everything for no reason. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I have a rough template in creative. Oh, never mind. Okay, um, I'm gonna quickly go into creative and there will be a quick time lapse of what the base frame is going to look like. So let's go into creative. Yay. Okay, we're in here, but I probably should uh, find a good space or something roughly that or something like what we're gonna do. Okay, let's just grab a few rough things beer up tools and then get a reliable source of transport um you know ish okay let's go It should be good. So what my plan is to do is find a clear-ish bit of land along the ocean side and what we're gonna need, oh, what we need is metal and a bunch of this. But we're creative, so it doesn't matter, does it? And some ramps, okay.
So here we go. That was the whole, um, accidentally, a whole tutorial on how to build my main base. Um, that's more or less it for now. And if your vehicles are tiny and like this, and what this this scale just looks weird. How does that make sense? Is it in? Can we get it in? Yes, we got it in. So if you want, you can put your tiny little vehicles in here, and then I think my idea will be to have the f 200 plot farm out here. And then there'll be like the whole safety feature around it, but it's going to be more like concrete walls and everything. So that is what we're going to be working on through the next few videos and obviously a good car. And with that out the way, um, I know this is quite a short one, but I think here is probably a note to finish off on. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this video was just a quick little update and a quick little sneak peek for what's happening um, in the next few videos. And also, um, this creation is a massive spoiler for something that's coming on my channel in a bit, so I don't know. You'll have to figure it out, that's all you're getting, is this creation, um, thing. I don't know. That is a spoiler. Don't forget it. Um, so yeah, I just needed some content to upload and something to do, because, you know, I like making YouTube videos even though they get no views. <laughs> I don't know. I just find it fun. So in this video, we had a keyboard cam and all this stuff and um, a new microphone. So tell me if you want to use this one with no PC suffering sounds or the other one with PC suffering sounds. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, there's a lot coming up in the next few videos. Obviously, a lot of grinding and a lot of working. But I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.